Let's look at some electronic configurations. Fluorine minus, sodium, or sodium plus. Which of those three can have the electronic configuration helium, 2s2, 2p5, 3s1? Think about that for a minute and make a selection. Let's look at possible arguments for each of the answers. A, fluorine minus has 10 electrons, so it could have this electronic configuration. Or B, electronic configurations aren't unique, so any of those species could have that electronic configuration. Or C, sodium plus has 10 electrons, so it can have this electronic configuration. Think about those possible answers and make another selection. We're looking at an electronic configuration, and we're trying to pair it to one of these species. So sodium has 11 electrons in its neutral state. 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s1 is its ground state. Sodium plus has one fewer electron, so it's a 10 electron system. And if it's in the 1s2, 2s2, 2p5, 3s1 state, that's a slightly excited state. An electron's been promoted from 2s or 2p to 3s. Fluorine minus, same situation. It's a 10 electron species and it's in a slightly excited state. The 2p electron promoted to the 3s. So what we have are two 10 electron species. Every 10 electron species that's slightly excited, that is has a 3s1 electron, will have this electronic configuration. Electronic configurations are not unique. If you have to put 10 electrons around an atom, you have to put them in in a certain way. It's the number of protons that determine what the atom actually is, whether it's a sodium or a fluorine. The number of electrons is completely independent. I could have too many electrons. I could have a negative ion. I can remove electrons and have the positive ion. So almost any element can have almost any electronic configuration. So you have to know to determine the species the number of protons in the nucleus. We don't know that here. All we know is the number of electrons. With 10 electrons, either fluorine minus or sodium plus can have that electronic configuration.